Hello everyone and welcome to the second installment of Lay's Flavor Icons. Tonight we have kettle cooked New York style pizzeria flavored Grimaldi's cold brick oven pizzeria inspired by Grimaldi's of Brooklyn, New York. Let's go ahead and tear this open and see what we're working with tonight, y'all. Alright, we got them open. You can't really see them. And they smell, you know, kind of like pizza. So let's dump some out on the plate here and see what they're looking like. Alright, there they are, everybody. These are a kettle cooked chip. And, uh, you can see there's all kinds of little, uh, seasonings all over these chips here. So I'm going to go ahead and Give one of these ones here a try. Mmm. Not too bad. Um, I'm getting the flavor of like a, like a sauce and I'm getting seasoning. Uh, here's one that's coated a little thicker here. Let's see how this one tastes. Mmm. It's not too bad, really. Um, do I think it tastes like pizza? Well, kind of, sort of, and kind of, sort of not. Um, I'm more or less getting the seasoning flavoring and a sauce, kind of like a marinara almost taste. They are quite salty, and they are very crunchy. Let's go ahead and try another one. Okay. Let's see uh, what the nutritional information has to say, y'all. This has 150 calories, <clears throat> 9 grams of fat, a gram and a half of saturated fat, no trans fat, no cholesterol, 180 milligrams of sodium, 16 grams of total carbohydrates, <clears throat> excuse me, total carbohydrates, 16 grams, dietary fiber, 1 gram, Pro total sugars, 1 gram, protein, 2 grams, no uh, vitamin D, 20 uh, milligrams of calcium, 0.6 milligrams of iron, 307 milligrams of potassium, 6% vitamin C, and uh, there's your ingredients. I'll let you scroll. Now you can pause it if you like. And on the back it says, well, I'm going to just read it to you. It says, inspired by the dish that made Grimaldi's an icon in the Big Apple. Here's a taste of their classic New York style pizza. Taste the flavors, discover the flavor of Hottest signature dishes, and you could win prizes. This is a limited edition, and it ends on September 10th of 2020 this year. So let's try a few more, and uh, we'll give them a rating, okay? Okay, that one little chip I ate there, I actually tasted more of a pizza. More of a pizza flavor like of what I think they were aiming for. It seems predominant on the darker colored pieces. Yeah. Okay. Uh, judging by the pizza that they're showing on the side of the container, this flavor would be pretty much in line with that. Uh, let it be known, I've never really been a huge fan of of pizzas based out of Chicago or New York. Nothing against them. Y'all do fine jobs with your pizzas. I am not discrediting you one bit. However, the pizzas from around the area here and from the local chains appeal better to my taste buds and what I'm acquired to. But as it sits, this uh, chip here 
I'm going to give them a 3.75 out of 5. Uh, they didn't quite nail the mark. Uh, uh, very much similar to the uh, last flavor icon that we reviewed, which was the Philly cheese steak. They are good. I'm pretty sure there are those of you out there who will like this. So there you have it, everybody. That's my review on this uh, second installment of the latest flavor icon chips. This is now available at the local grocer. And the price point on this bag of chips was $3.49. And it is an 8-ounce bag. Which is three-fourths of the way full of chips and a fourth of the way full of air. So, there you have it, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, please check out our playlist for many more videos like this. And we hope to bring in the other two flavors in this uh, series before they disappear. So, there you have it, everybody. Take care. Stay safe out there. And I'll talk to you all very soon in the next video. Thanks. And, uh. Peace out, everybody. Bye-bye.